Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ink and Gold, the race for ancient artifacts, designed by Alan R. Moon and Bruno Fiduti, and published by Griffin Games. Now with that being said, this is a fully sleeved copy of the game with no lid lift. Let's go ahead and jump inside. Now first off, we go ahead and lift the lid off the box, and inside that you're going to see that we have the rulebook drapes on top. Underneath that, we have a couple of organizers as well as card boxes. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the card box. This is from Burger Tokens. These are their perfect fit card boxes. I really like how they work. They are better than bags because they keep things nice and flat. I really like the way this is, and it's not going to damage the sleeves. These can contain all of your cards, your treasures, your traps, everything that you need to play the game are all going to be here. Links in the description below for the sleeves that we use for the game. Up next, we have a bag that's going to contain all of your meeples for your different player colors. You honestly don't even need them in a bag, but this is just so that they don't go flying around. But you could definitely just have them in the bottom of the box here. Up next, we have our three containers for all of our different resources. We have our turquoise, as well as our gold, and lastly, our obsidian. So these are really nice containers. You get them 10 for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I'll leave a link in the description below. You simply pop the top off, put them in the center, and they're ready to go. I love that they come with their own little dishes. Use these in pretty much everything. Fantastic little component containers here. Our next item here are the different tent cards for the different players. This new edition has these great little foldable tents. That way you simply just prop them open, put a little bend there, and boom, they're ready to go. So this way you simply just shove all of your treasure inside of here. There's no cards that are tearing or bending unnaturally, so you're not going to have any issues with these wearing out. So really like these. They work extremely well, and there's going to be a couple of them, one for each player. And lastly, we have a silica gel packet in here for freshness. But with that being said, let's go ahead and pack it up. So first off, we're going to go ahead and put that card box on the right side here. We're then going to take all of the player tens and put them on the left. We'll use all of our different boxes here for our different gems and place them so that everything is going to be segmented out. We'll put our silica gel packet in here for freshness, our different player meeples, and lastly, our rule book. And that is organizing ink and gold. If you have any questions about what you saw here, please let me know down in the comments below. Which edition of ink and gold do you have? How do you organize your copy? Is this one that you enjoy? I'd love to hear what you think. But thank you so much for watching Side Game Strong.